Hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Let's do a mic check, sound check. Hi. Hi, guys. Um, hi, everyone. It's Katy Perry, fresh out of the shower with wet hair, slapped a red lip on, slapped a little moment on, giving you some shoulders. Um, I hope you guys are all okay. So I'm doing a live today with a couple of people, but before I start, um, one of the main reasons why I'm doing a live is to check in on you guys and to see how your New Year's resolutions are because it's January 28th, I think. Um, and if you're anything like me, um, about January 28th, things start to kind of fall apart as far as resolutions go. So, um, actually I did my resolution this morning because, um, it'd been a couple of days since I had it and I knew I was going to speak with you and I knew if I was going to ask you if you guys were sticking to it, I better lead by example. Um, and so, yeah, so, um, I'm going to go through and check in on some of your um, resolutions that you wrote me about. Um, but first and foremost, I wanted to bring in one of my first guests, a incredible new artist, Aitana, who I did a collaboration with uh, for my song Resilient with Tiesto. Um, and I wanted to talk with her about this collaboration, about her being a new artist, which I once was many moons ago, um, and just have a fun chat and um, just talk to you about this campaign, which is called Open to Better. And um, the, my friends at Coca-Cola have been so lovely to promote my song and this feature with Tiesto and Aitana. And actually, I'll tell you, um, I'll show you, on, um, I got to put my New Year's resolution on uh, one of the cans. So I'm gonna turn it around for a hot second. And look, I promise to meditate. That's right, guys, that's my um, New Year's resolution. I've been meditating for 10 years, but I wanted to meditate even more. Um, I do transcendental meditation. I did it this morning, actually, and it was so exactly what I needed. I made Orlando do it with me. Uh, and then we chanted. We chant um, most mornings. No myo ho renge kyo is what we say. It's a Buddhist chant. And um, it's been incredibly powerful this past year. Um, the combination of transcendental meditation and chanting is like walking on air. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> let's bring in my girl, Aitana. I'm looking for Aitana. There is Aitana. <laughs> Waiting for it on now. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Kate. I'm so glad of being here with you. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. But, you know, it's nice to meet you here by life, finally. So I know. Uh, can I say hola, mija? <laughs> <laughs> hola. Yes. Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, muy bien. Tu español I'm, está muy bien. I'm learning a lot more español these days. It's very, uh, I mean, I'm learning a lot more Spanish these days. Um, it's very important for me. Um, and I heard that you are learning a little bit more English. Yeah, I'm learning English. Uh, I mean, for me, it's not one of my strengths. Like, it's difficult. I, I try to speak, like, fast because my mind is, t like, thinking Spanish all the time. Oh, yeah. When I, 
to speak in English. It's like I think in Spanish and then I speak in English. And this is this is wrong. Like <laughs> work. you're doing great. Um, I just wanted to say hello, happy 2021. Um, I where are where in the world are you first and foremost? I'm in Madrid. I, I'm from Barcelona, but I live right now in Madrid. So I'm here in Madrid. And you? Um, I'm in California. It's a bit of a rainy day. It's cold, um, but it's beautiful always in California. I love Madrid. I love Thank you. Bar Barcelona. I love, oh, I'm so excited to be able to travel again and come there. Yeah. And it's so... Um, it's so lively and full of passion and culture, like so much incredible culture. Um, so tell me, Aitana, um, I wanted to know a few things. How have you found, what, how have you found this collaboration, um, the song Resilient when you heard it and then you wrote your own verse to it, which was amazing. And I actually, I, you did like several takes, like you did like six or seven different versions, which I was yeah. really, proud of you for because you kept on swinging and then you totally nailed the last version that Tiesto put together which was great um and yeah doing it all from home and doing it all in these times what how was your experience for me it was like my team told me like very very and her team is like they want to give you like the opportunity or just like do you want so do you want to do the and I was like, wait, what, what, like, <laughs> what? And I was like, yeah, of course I want to do it. I did a lot of want to, to wear like, please. It was like an incredible opportunity. You're such an inspiration for all of us. And I'm so young, you know, and, and you too, like I'm 21. So I, I, heard, I heard you since I was like a little child. <laughs> it was really incredible. And it was really nice because I work at home and I was like thinking what what I what I put in the in the song and when, what will feel like okay in Spanish and English like it's like kind yeah. Of, so yeah I was like nervous but so 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 excited about this song you you are incredible and, and you you will not know it I mean you know it I don't know if you know it but you are so <laughs> thank you you as well I see myself in you and um, you're just, you're, uh, she's a brand new artist. I'm speaking with Aitana. Um, she's speaking from Madrid, everyone. And I don't want everyone to think that I'm not wearing clothes. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing clothes. They're just, I'm just giving you a lot of shoulder today. Um, but uh, so can I interview as though nobody knows who you are just for like five, you know, hot seconds. Mm -hmm. So you're 21. You're from uh, well, you live in Madrid, but you're from Barcelona, right? And um, how long have you been singing? Since I was since I was a child, but I I didn't sing like well when I when I started like singing when I was I don't know eight years or like nine years. Yeah. And I was all the time trying to sing like in my house, and my mom was like, "Oh my God, shut up! You are so like." all the time singing it was like your hey, mom yeah my mom was just singing, just like shut up for a minute because you're all the time singing and I don't know if I did it well but when I was when I was starting like being more um uh old older yeah um I start um doing uh like piano classes and also like sing like vocal coach classes yeah. And yeah, my my career starts when when started when I was uh night no, 18 in a talent show here in Spain. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What what was it called? Operación Triunfo. Mm. Yeah, I'm so I I'm so grateful of this uh talent show because they bring me the opportunity of I don't know. I've never been in a um, in a scenario like a, a scenario. Yeah, a, a scenario. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a friend of mine here help, helping. <laughs> She's English. you're doing great. English, and yeah, I was it never was on a stage. Yeah, my my first time on a stage. Oh wow! So, yeah, it was like 
a lot of、um, feels. Food. Yeah, so many feels. <laughs> yeah, and right now I have twenty one, so my career start three years ago. So yeah, I'm like really new、uh, in this, like in this industry. Industry. Yeah, industry. Yes, and it's interesting being a new artist during these times where you know you're not really traveling around like new artists would and. You know, when I started, I was going all over the world, several times over, meeting so many people,、um, doing so many interviews, and now it's all virtual. Because we would have done this in person if it weren't these times, and、um, you know, you just have to make the best of it.、Um, I want to ask you a couple questions. Who? Or what inspires you to sing and write、um, like you do? I don't know a lot of artists. I mean, I used to hear like music, in, like American music. I don't know why, but also like national,、uh, like Spanish music.、Um, but I used to hear, I don't know, Katy Perry, Adele.、Mm. Like Sia, all these like artists, like it was like my passion, passion, passion? yeah, like yeah. passion.、Um, just here into this music, and I didn't know where where were you talking about in the in the song because I didn't know how to talk in English or I, I, my,、sure. my my language is Spanish, and I was like hearing to all this kind of music, like trying to sing it like in my、um, in my English that was like yeah.、Uh, And I don't know. I think this、um, starts inspiring me, like for、uh, for singing, like doing karaoke with my family. My family was like my my public in every、yeah. Christmas, Christmas and birthday parties. I was like doing my shows with my family, and my family my family was like sing for us, and I was like okay. <laughs> and I used ladies to, and gentlemen, Aitana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I was like, "Buenas noches, Barcelona!" Like in my <laughs> in my parents, like, "What? What is she doing?" <laughs> That's、and、awesome. Where when when I start like hearing to all these artists and and like trying to write and I don't know, like step by step. That's awesome. Well, you're here now, and you're doing great. We've got like forty-seven thousand people watching right now, and a lot of your fans. And I have a lot of Spanish fans. I have a lot of Latin fans. Like I see them. Like I, I, yes, I see all your hearts, <laughs> and I love them so much. And I know that they love you, and they're telling me on the comments how much they love you.、Um, What was your New Year's resolution, and have you? So we we are used to getting together to do like huge Christmas, huge birthday party. Sure, it was like our daily, and right now we don't know when we'll be able to do this again. So yeah, yeah, it's. I think that everybody that is watching us right now、uh, will will know this feeling. Like it's kind of yeah weird and. You can't.、Know. You can't put a price tag on a hug. Yeah. <laughs> so、um, I I want I want to learn how to appreciate the days, how to take advantage of the day, and I, I've learned how to put myself into the shoes of the others more than I did before because a lot of people are struggling、uh, during the pandemic. And you know, by by losing her loved ones, by losing her jobs, and we we are having, they are having, their lives changing changing in such a small period of time. So I think that it's important to, I mean, the things are changing so 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 fast, and we are becoming like more, um, uh, like like aware, um, for for because we have to to care. You know, like it's like my value. Cherish, cherish more the moment. Like take advantage of the day and do what what I want to do right now, not wait until something happens. That's right. So living it, living in the moment and、mm -hmm. um, being present. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of this time has forced me to be present and to face 
whatever I have or had been running from um, because it's very easy to, um, I mean, and I'm, I, I agree with you. It's very easy. Hi, doggy. Um, <laughs> it's very easy to, well, it was very easy to run. It was very easy to um, yeah. w work really hard, um, you know, eat crappy foods, um, yeah. uh, you know, always be busy, shop, um, whatever it is. You could be like, you could over-exercise, which I definitely don't. <laughs> um, but um, whatever you're, you know, distracting yourself with, um, I think that that all kind of has been uh, peeling away for a lot of people. And a lot of people have had to face, you know, who who they are and who's around them, who who they have around them, who they don't have around them. Um, and And really start to like, hopefully know themselves, which is like the most challenging thing is to know yourself. And um, definitely for me, like with my resolution to meditate more, um, the meditation, I do this thing called transcendental meditation, which has just changed my life for the last 10 years. And the meditation, um, it helps me become really quiet and still and small. And in that stillness and that smallness, I find these answers and I don't even search for the answers. They just kind of really come to me. And, um, you know, like in the Bible, it says, be still and know that I am God. And so I really feel that connection when I meditate, you know, I, I feel it in my heart. I feel it up there or wherever around me. Um, and yeah, I agree with you. It's just that, you know, valuing every single day is so important and being grateful for every single day. Um, and all the small things have become the most important. They've become the big things. I think that's, that's uh, there's been a real change, a fundamental change in the world. Um, and it has been really challenging um, to get there or it still is pretty challenging right now. Um, but every day is an opportunity for growth and, um, you know, you've been around since you were 18 and you're 21 now and you're a new artist and you're in Madrid. And um, I just wanted to encourage everyone to check out Aitana. She's amazing. You know, Aitana, you, you sing in Spanish and yeah. I sing in, in English it's because there's a hopefulness in your voice. It's not just like you're telling a different story. You're giving people uh, hope and light and joy. And um, I think we realize in these times that's like really, really important is to have hope because if we stop dreaming, we, we're just going to be crying, <laughs> you know? And um, I'm really glad to have met you and through this process to have collaborated with you, even if it's been virtually. And I know one day, you know, I'll be coming to uh, Madrid and I, I bet we'll be playing this song live together. And yeah, that would be amazing to share a stage with you and to see your light in action because you are such an incredible light worker. You can see it in your eyes. You know, you have that joy. So even though our languages are different, our hearts are the same. And I see that in you, Aitana. And I'm just so glad I could collaborate with you. I'm going to start crying right now. No, so I'm so emotionally. So thank you very much for these words. And thank you very much for inviting me uh, to the song in, the, in, in this life. And I'm looking forward to, to see you in, in person that you come here to Madrid or I will go there. I don't know. But thank you. Thank you very much for, for everything you said and for the opportunity. It's a really huge opportunity for me. So thank you, Katie, for, for everything. You do. You're welcome. And before we go, since you um, uh, are more fluent in Spanish, uh, I'd love for you to speak to everyone here um, in Spanish and tell them okay. whatever you want them to hear, you know, about you, about this moment, collaboration. Give them some, maybe give them a little bit of that hope that I see in your eyes. Bueno, eh, hola a todos. Ahora <laughs> 
como más fácil para mí hablar en, en español. Básicamente gracias a todos los que, los que estáis viendo este live desde, desde, desde donde estéis. Gracias. Bueno, yo me llamo Itana, para quien no me conozca, soy una artista, una nueva artista realmente, una nueva cantante en, en, aquí en España. Y pues básicamente eh, quería agradecer a Kitty por todo lo que está haciendo, a vosotros por estar ahí. Eh, os, pero esperamos que os haya gustado la canción de Resilience, de lo que habla, de cómo... Eh, overcome ourselves como de superarnos a nosotros mismos eh, y ser positivos con todo lo que venga que el, que, el, que el tiempo ahora mismo está cambiando que tenemos que empezar a valorar el tiempo como todo cambia de rápido así que, que bueno que básicamente gracias que espero que las cosas mejoren un montón y os mando muchos besos 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 <risa> Oh, okay. Well, it's so lovely to meet you. I'm going to sign off right now and I'm going to segue um, into talking to some of the fans about uh, some of their resolutions and check in with them and see if how that's been going. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Coca-Cola. Muchas gracias. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, that was amazing. Thanks so much. Um, All right, I'm going to check in with some of these resolutions. I'm going to call out some names. Um, oh, I like this one. Okay, Jesse Ann, at Jesse Ann Williams says, my resolution is to look after my body. I've put it through hell the last few years. Yes, I agree. I hope you, uh, Jesse, you've been sticking to that. I know that for me, um, speaking of looking after my body, which is a temple, um, I have been making some really, really big changes in my life, uh, taking this time to make some incredible uh, changes. I've been eating vegan for uh, probably 95% of my meals, um, which has been amazing. I'm a addicted well I wouldn't say addicted but I love the feeling of eating clean I love how my mind feels I love how my body feels um, and anytime I kind of go backwards I pay for it the next day so my body I'm really listening to my body these days um, and it tells me it's like you 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 really you you didn't really need you know that cream corn yeah you, you you didn't need it Didn't really need that chicken. Um, <laughs> um, I believe that uh, whole foods like plants, um, vegetables, and, and fruits, they give you pretty much everything you need. Funny. Funny that would be the case. Um, okay, next. At uh, buttercup.katie, my promise to myself is to try and keep my boundaries solid and protect my spouse, protect myself, especially with family, um, open and clear communication. Woo! I hope at buttercup.katie, you are still being true to those words. Boundaries are so important. Um, and... I have been practicing a lot of those as well. Loving boundaries. You know, love also is a um, boundary. You can love someone and, and still not have to um, let them into your life. It's, it's wild. That is a loving boundary. Um, and yes, there's been a lot of, You know, for me, there's been a lot of, um, I had a baby, and so that changed my life. She changed my life and still continues to change my life, and um, I created space for her, um, and I, I um, therefore, you know, didn't have the extra time that I have had in the past 35 years. And so I had to create space and I'm glad I did. And, you know, I think that um, you realize that when you become a mother is that um, you just have to focus on being a mom. And um, it's not because you don't uh, love other people. It's not because, you know, 
uh, anything besides you just want to be a great mom. And so a lot of stuff falls away when you become a mom and um, it is the best job in the world. I highly recommend it when you're ready. Okay, more resolutions. Um, oh, great. This is at Perry Swen said, I started doing transcendental meditation and yoga because I was inspired by you and it really helped me and it's really help. It's really saving me and helping me to have better mental health. Woo! Mental health! Let's talk about it. Anyone else? Yo, they said that mental health wasn't a thing and then 2020 happened. Um, your brain. Wow, what an organ. Who would have thought? Maybe the most important one. And um, mind over matter, right? Mental health. I have been through a very public um, process with my own journey on mental wellness is what I like to call it. And, um, you know, I think I've done so many things like, like uh, Perry Swen said, yoga and meditation and now chanting has really changed um, my mental wavelengths. And I've tried everything. Um, and, you know, just having those little routines and rituals have really changed the game for me. So good for you, Perry Swen. I'm glad you are tapping into that and your third eye. Congratulations. Um, let's check in. Uh, okay, at Katie Cat Tegan, my resolution is to not always uh, try and be perfect because I know humans aren't meant to be I am. Oh, I also want to learn to love myself more and more every day, despite my mind telling me otherwise. Sometimes, Ooh. normalize imperfection, guys. Um, you know, I like playing with filters. I like playing with lighting, all that stuff. But I also love my wrinkles. I love my body. I love. I'm a. I'm a voluptuous girl, and I'm proud of that. Um, I, I wear less makeup these days. I'm put a little slap on today, but, um, I wear less makeup these days. And one thing that really came to me that I'll share with you, um, is I, I wear less armor these days cause I am less at war with myself and, I think that is because I've been trying to know myself. And um, I think that there are definitely things that help you know yourself and clear out that negative voice that is, you know, always trying to come in. And I do believe that meditation, which is my New Year's resolution and has been for a long time, but to do it even more, um, is, um, is a tool that really helps you get there. And so um, perfection to me is the end. I think that perfection doesn't exist. I think that, um, I mean, God is the only perfection, right? Um, but I think when you reach perfection, uh, it's game over. And so um, I don't want it to be game over. I want to constantly be on this journey that I love growing on with you guys. Um, okay, let's do a few more. Um, oh, I love Grace. At JC, Mr. Katie, consistency towards my goals and grace over uh, my non-perfect days. So I just really feel like we have to get the word perfect out of the dictionary because they doesn't exist it is an illusion and um unfortunately social media has um not not been wonderful in 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 um telling the truth about that we all know that and i listen i have contributed as well you know i have um but perfect doesn't exist and just I think it's really about dropping that. And um, I love the consistency towards my goals. I think um, 
you know, one of the things that I've been trying to do uh, lately is have a lot more self discipline and um, keep a routine. I thrive in routine. That's why like when I go on tour, I thrive. It's so fun. Um, but I'm not on tour, but I can create small routines and rituals here um, at home. So, you know, getting up, setting my alarm, I actually have an alarm to wake up and an alarm to go to bed and or start heading to bed like at 9pm. So it says head to bed 9pm. Um, and yeah, eventually I get to bed by 10, right? Or something like that. But um, I wake up, I drink my greens, I have some water. Um, I'm trying to cut coffee, but it's fun sometimes. Um, but it's very acidic for your body. Um, and not great for, you know, the moneymaker. Um, <laughs> or the, I'm sorry, not great for it. Let's not say the moneymaker. It's not great for um, the message. Um, so yeah, I think that creating these little rituals and routines are really helpful. And um, consistency towards my goals and grace over my non-perfect days. Grace. We all, we all could use a little grace for ourselves first and foremost, and then grace for everyone else. Okay. There's a lot of people talking about perfect. Fuck perfect. Excuse my language. Sometimes we need to say it. Sorry, mom, whoever is watching, if you dropped off, I, I just like the word perfect is such an illusion. It is so negative. It is destroying people. It is destroying people's um, perspective of themselves. It does not exist. So let it go. Don't even say the word perfect. It doesn't exist. Um, a couple more. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one I really resonate with. Okay. All right. Um, at Lulu underscore Lucian A-A-L Cantera, not buying new clothes and being more, not buying new clothes and being more a responsible consumer in general. We citizens as consumers have power to help the transition to a more sustainable planet. Yes. So I don't know about any of you guys. Um, there's been a huge, I've been going through a huge, I would say, I would call it a human revolution right now with myself. Um, not, you know, going more vegan, I'd say 95%. I'm not perfect, but I don't believe in perfection if you've been following me. Um, <laughs> and um, one of the things that, have be that has become so aware is how um, wasteful I have been and as a consumer um, with clothes, just buying clothes and, um, you know, uh, I, in my personal life, I've just like pledged to myself that I, I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna buy. I probably, if I was buying clothes, like I was buying clothes in 2019 and before, uh, I would, I'm probably gonna be doing it only out of necessity. Um, and only personally, only, you know, wearing like things that are like, for instance, when getting to play at the inauguration, I got to wear Tom Brown and that was specially made for that special occasion. But like I wore this, um, for Christmas, uh, and, and did some promo in it and I'm wearing it again. I'm just going to start wearing things again. Sorry, not sorry, actually. Um, because I think that, um, I don't have the information, but uh, I think that clothes are like top five of the most polluting things for our planet. And um, I personally can't be a part of, of that like I was, um, especially knowing that like my daughter is going to grow up and that, and what kind of planet is going to, what, what kind of planet is, uh, is it going to be in 20 years or even in 36 years when she's my age? Like, I can't, I don't know if I can change the world, but I know it's, 
I know I can change myself and that's what's most important. So eating vegan, I'm stopping shopping <laughs> um, a lot more. I used to be so addicted to shopping, guys. I loved it. It was amazing. I loved it. And now I think I can buy, if I buy, I buy more used. I buy more vintage. Um, and I'm even trying to incorporate that ethos in my own um, Katy Perry collections line. And, you know, I have to, it, it's, it takes a long time to change that um, and ask all the questions on, you know, how things are made, where they're made. And, you know, can we use a, can, can we use, like, I've pushed it to mostly, I think all vegan um, fabrics. And so just, just trying to turn it like, little by little bit by bit. So I really, I really resonated with that one because I was like, I just think, whew, we got a lot. We got a, we got to turn the beat around. Um, if we want to leave the planet, a really nice one for the other kids that live in it. Um, sorry, mom's home. Okay. Maybe two more. How about that? Um, and then we're going to check in with one other group of wonderful human beings. Um, oh, oh, I like this. At Livia underscore Rodriguez 155. Love of neighbor. And we certainly need to spread less hatred for people mainly online. <gasps> Can you imagine a world online with less hate how great would that be that would be amazing um i know i i i try to do that in my own life i used to clap back a little bit more and um you know even though i'm i'm still me i just i just don't i just don't need to do that as much um but uh, yeah, just lead by example and lead through love because love is all you need. Um, and a little bit more sleep and maybe some whole foods and a shower every once in a while. Water. <laughs> um, so yes, I agree. I agree. And, um, you know, I think the biggest change happens with yourself and then you can ripple effect it in your family or to a neighbor or to a friend you don't have to go to another country to change the world. You could literally just, um, you know, leave some of that sourdough or banana bread or whatever the heck you've been doing this whole freaking time on your neighbor's doorstep. And even if they don't like you because you stay up like six hours later than they do and they hear you stomping around upstairs in your apartment, you can still just continue to be nice. Also, Katie Katz. If you love me, you can always you can always lead from love and kindness. And sometimes, you know, I get to do a little um, spying. And um, I know that when you love me is when you are leading from love and light and kindness. And um, yeah, that makes me really happy. And I hope makes you really happy. Um, and that's the only way to be because we all are in this together and we all need each other, all of the fan groups. Um, and, you know, I think, yeah. One more, one more, one more resolution. Um, okay, 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 okay. I'm here for this one. At Michael uh, underscore Lee to enjoy what is in front of me instead of waiting for what's next. <gasps> the tea is piping. Okay, I'll reveal something. I am a planner. I love to plan. Um, I, I like to see into the future. I like to even like, I don't know about you, but in the past when I was on a vacation, I would, <laughs> this was my mode of operation. I'd go on vacation. 
Um, and the first day I go on vacation, I would become sad because I then had stopped planning the vacation. I'm in the vacation and I only have five more days left. And then I'd wake up the next day and I go, I only have four more days left. And I wake up the next day, I only have three more days left. And so I would rob myself of being present and in that moment. And um, not only that, um, gosh, plans, trying to make plans in 2020 and 2021 is just like, it's a joke. So um, in a way, it's, it's really encouraged me to be even more present and to um, value every day, like Aitana said. And, um, you know, all we have is this moment. And that's what's promised is this moment and nothing else. And so um, I think about it a lot. Um, cause I see my daughter change so much, um, in the past, you know, five months and looking back at photos, it's like, Whoa, you see time in human form and you're just like, Oh my gosh, she was that. And now she's this, and now she's got chunky cheeks. Um, and you know, it's, um, it's beautiful when you can be present to the moment. And, um, that is something I'm definitely working on a lot. Um, I love planning and I love dreaming and dreaming is really important, um, especially for an artist and it's very hopeful. We definitely need that. Uh, I got a dream of like a, a better future than the one that we're in right now, every day kind of, you know, moving along what in what feels like cement shoes. Um, but yeah. Those are some resolutions from some of my fans, and um, I hope you guys are all doing okay. I wanted to check in one with a, a group of people, actually. Um, I did this collaboration with uh, Coca-Cola and Aitana, and um, also with an incredible um, uh, organization called One Youth Ambassador, and I actually am going to check in with... Um, a ambassador named Sarah Young right now to talk about um, this collab and, and her organization and how she sees the future and is it hopeful and what they do at one, which is an incredible organization for young people. Okay. I'm going there. I'm like, where do I go? Got it. Send request. Got it. Got it. Good. Got it. Got it. Good. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am happy and grateful. How are you? Good. Yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Uh, so, Sarah, hello. You're from One, which is a youth organization. Um, I yes. wanted you to you to um, explain about one, the youth organization, what you guys do and how uh, you got to collab with Coca-Cola and this kind of resolution can this fun sure, idea. Sure. Um, yeah. One's a, a global activist movement. It's not just the youth ambassadors. There's a, an international team of staff and volunteers and lots of different people who get involved Basically, our main message is to eradicate um, extreme poverty and help prevent preventable diseases such as malaria, TB, AIDS, things like that, that we, that we can actually um, put pressure of politicians to change. Yes. So we're hoping that the funds raised with the, the Coke cans can help us with our, our strong cause, help youth That's ambassadors right. like me get involved and help help those people in need who really need our support. That's amazing. And when did you join the the one uh, organization? Um, I've just finished my second year with them. I got involved. I volunteered at a U2 concert a couple of years ago because oh. Bon is one of the um, people who founded one, which is pretty cool. Right. So I got involved volunteering for them on the um, Poverty is Sexist campaign in late 2018. So have you heard of it? Um, Poverty is nope. Sexist campaign basically says Tell that us. 
nowhere in the world um, women are equal to men. Like I'm sure you've experienced that. You're you're quite an influential, strong, powerful lady. <laughs> yes, and, I am. Um, basically, people who well, you, you you'll have experienced plenty of experiences yourself. But countries that really need the support, um, women are having to leave school at a really young age. They're having to go and become wives and mothers. They're not getting the education that they're entitled to, which then affects the whole community because they can't then go and become nurses and doctors. They can't have their own businesses, things like that. So then the whole community as a whole doesn't thrive. The culture doesn't thrive. And then that's when we need to go in and support them with other things. Whereas if women are giving more opportunities, you know, we're 50% of the population. <laughs> if you can just give us a little boost, then everyone as a whole gets more of a choice, more of an opportunity. That's right. It's all about balance. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure you've experienced um, some diversity yourself. And yes, ma'am. In my in my own way, uh, I've had had to, had to overcome and o overcompensate to get you know uh, my fair share. And I'm I'm really in my own personal life finding that balance. And um, I have an incredible partner, Orlando, who supports me. I have heard um, of him. Yes, he's, a, he's, he's an incredible gentleman that um, supports me and lifts me up and, um, you know, is, is, is a great guy. And um, my question is, is that how do you, is, is education the key to kind of helping fix that problem? Absolutely. It's, you can't just throw money at things. You, no. you have to educate people. You know how, even if you were to go and fix the situation entirely, the next day it would all be gut without educating people. And part of what we do is we educate other people how they can take action as well. Ed education is how you change anything, you know. Um, so basically, giving people the tools on how they, how they can work themselves, helping people to realise their full potential. And part of what we do, like I said, is we go and uh, speak to our local politicians, I've been to Parliament and we've put pressure on the government to follow through with these changes and to commit to more aid and more funding and it's been brilliant. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that's, uh, I was just reading my notes. It's amazing the work that you guys have done and continue, continue to do and I'm like very grateful that I got to collaborate with you guys over this. Um, nice. And what I want to say is, um, so my resolution was to meditate more and that's on my can and it's available to purchase and select European markets. Um, you can go to my bio, there's a link there and the proceeds will benefit one organization. It's a youth ambassador organization. Sarah, you're, you're speaking for them. How big is the organization? Oh, it is quite big. I can give you a number. Um, there's about 50 of us every year just in the UK Youth Ambassador Group, and we're volunteers. Um, there's a head office in London. We're all over Europe, all over America. There are big deals in Washington. Um, we get involved in European Union stuff as well. I think that's the yes. Um Huge. And we've got this great... Um, section in that covers Africa, the uh, one champions there who um, deal with their politicians there and not hit the ground running. Well, there's a lot of work to do and it it's feels like it's never, it's it's never over, but I bet, I bet that you're making good headway and I'm, and I'm grateful to be a part of this and glad you guys, guys uh, came on the live. Is there anything you wanted to share with my followers who are still on and interested in, you know, um, becoming more active in this space? And Absolutely. I mean, you, you don't have to commit to being something like a, a one ambassador. And even if, if you do commit to something, it's not like it eats up all your time. You just take action when you're given an opportunity to take action. If you some, see somebody wanting to make an event or something, you can join in, you can sign petitions. We've always got petitions online about what we are doing and what we're trying to change. And some of them will be local to you. So sometimes um, ours is like a UK based one. Some of them will be American ones, pushing the government's there, all over the place. One of the things we recently did, um, I was in a group with a lady from Washington and a lady from Nigeria, and we made a video online asking our fellow one people to say something that's important to them. 
and we pieced it all together to make a video celebrating International Human Solidarity Day, which was really wow. lovely to see what was important to all these different people and their countries. And it was such a lovely experience. But that, that was just nice that everybody just got involved. You don't have to be really committed to get involved in making change. That's right. You can start with yourself little, little and things. your neighbor, little Absolutely. by little bit. Going I forward, always... especially after last year, I think everybody needs to be kinder to each other and we just need to pull through this and support each other. I mean, we've been stuck in our own houses forever. We need to look at everybody in our surrounding areas that you're saying, your neighbours, that you're driving nuts at six in the morning or whatever. You need to have a look outside your bubble and see how you can support everybody. And we're, we're going to get through this next year. It's going to be a long one, but we're going to get there. Yes. <laughs> hope. You've yes, hope. absolutely hope. Amazing. How do you find your meditating helping? Um, well, I've been meditating for 10 years, um, but oh, I wanted to make a, uh, I wanted to kind of recommit myself to it um, more and more um, and make that New Year's resolution, um, kind of keep myself accountable to do it. And so this morning I did it, you know, I do it, I, I, I'm supposed to do it every day, twice a day, and I don't necessarily get to it to do that. Um, yes, but, but you don't I, put your pressure on that. Because right, if right, right. Right. yourself to do it, then the worse it gets as well, and you get into this hole. That's right. So, um, but I got to do it today, and I feel like it's really helped me. And um, every time I did, every time I do it, I get, um, I kind of, um, it's like yoga for my mind, and the mental health benefits that mm -hmm. I receive are so phenomenal and necessary for um, me to be able to kind of um, mine hope. You know, I, I'm like trying to find and mine hope um, and that hope is within me and I pull, I draw it out when I meditate and get still and become present and go inwards. So it Absolutely. definitely, it definitely has helped change my life for the better for the past 10 years. So um, thank you so much for being a part of this, Sarah. Thank and you thank you to you. Yeah, of course. And thank you to um, the One Youth Ambassadors and to your organization for um, pushing and lobbying and <laughs> using your voice. Every every voice can make change in this world. Um, so thank you. And um, I'll see you hopefully on, on the ground at some point at the end of this year or next year, but we can't make plans just yet. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. Okay, I'm still on. Um, I just wanted to say thanks so much for spending a little time with me. Um, it's been about an hour, I think. And um, thanks to Coca-Cola. Thanks to uh, Itana. Thanks to the One organization. Um, if you want to check up what they're doing, it's at One, literally at O-N-E. And uh, if you want to join them and become an activist for good and changing some of the um, horrible things that are going on in the world. Um, but I just want to tell you that I love you, that I see you, that I love you. Um, I'm hoping that this too shall pass. And um, you know, check in with yourself and your resolutions or the, the, the promises that you made to yourself and um, know I'm on that journey with you as well. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, God bless you. And I, I, I like, I will, it's hard to like say goodbye because I don't get to talk to you very much. Um, but I know in the future we'll have a lot more to say. And I'll have a lot more to say. And um, yeah, have a good rest of your day or good night. Sleep tight.